Boy, it's hot today. Another part that we did not do, I did try, but I already don't like this park. I've had a couple bad experiences there on a lunch break before. Rosehead Park. We pulled up today in an attempt to do that, and at both sections on both sides, there was a there was some homeless people there, some people with their clothes under the benches and different things, which, hey, whatever, but I had my granddaughter with me and I don't subject them to that. Matter of fact, to be honest with you, I know the reputation because of pulling up and on my lunch break years ago and trying to take a nap in the truck and chill, do accidentally doze off and anyhow. I personally would not take my grand youngins there for a day of festivity. If you see me at Rosehead Park, somebody else is having an event. Somebody else is having an event and I've been invited and I'm going. Number one, it's right by a major highway, and about the only thing separating most of the pavilion from the major highway is a split rail fence. So if your children are young and you're not paying attention to them very closely, and you know how children can get, children can get away from you in a hurry. Not to mention the fact that a lot of times during the, the daytime, a lot of the homeless that's there disperses around town, but some of them don't. They just go out in the edge of the woods and hide next to the creek next to it. So, I mean, yeah, if you're the type of person that really pays attention to your kids and don't mind that around them and you carry a pistol, yeah, I mean, it'd be a lot part. But other than that, I don't think I'd have my kids up there playing unless maybe on the splash pad and I was standing right there with them with a 40 cal under my shoulder, then I might would. So I have done a video before on that part. We was going to do one today, just the circumstances. Too many homeless people there in the grandbaby with me. So we'll leave that now to review today. Or I guess you could take that as a review.